If you've been looking for somewhere to get authentic gyros, kebabs, and fresh Mediterranean uh, flavors, Clark is hanging out at a spot you may want to add to your list of restaurants that you need to visit. Clark, are you carving something? What are you carving up? Yes, yeah, so I'm really excited because I'm actually going to be carving this meat right here. I'm hanging out with Nick, he's the owner of Kapulis, and I really want to learn a little bit more about what I'm looking at because this is amazing. It reminds me of Al Pastor. Very similar to Al Pastor, <laughs> very similar. I call it meatloaf on a skewer, but gyro means to turn, gyro. Uh -huh. So it's cooking on a rotisserie broiler. So oh, that's, that's, cool. that's, that's, that's how. Often uh, people think a gyro is just a sandwich. Uh -huh. uh, with, it's a specific kind of meat. It's a sandwich. It's a gyro meat and a pita sandwich. So here no we go. Idea. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so I have to use this tool. This actually stops. Right. You're perfect. And this what from you rotating, do, and then I slice from the top down. Angle your knife like that. Angle. Other other way. Other. Way. There you go. Okay. And just let the knife do the work. Perfect, you're doing oh good. Oh my gosh, and can I continue on or should you I can. start no, from the top? Continue on, okay. keep going. No, you can start from the top. Go start for from it. the top? Okay. Yeah. So, and I want to get these little crispy things. I'm going to give you a hand here. No. no you got okay. it? Okay. Let me see. Let me see. Start over here again. Okay. Just You can hack that thing to I'm death. seriously trying. I promise you I'm more coordinated than this. I'm really she doing is. my best. Okay. So, we're going to start over here. Right. And then angle and slice. My other slice was you're a little You're doing great. Thick. Look at that. No, you're perfect. Start over here now. Okay. Hold that tight. Right there. There. Hold go it for tight. it. You got it. There you go. Okay. You're doing it. Tell me what this is flavored. This with. is lamb and beef. And okay. it's really like a meatloaf. So there's some wheat in there, uh -huh. eggs, and spices. Oh, yeah. It's our number one seller. People come to Papulis to eat gyro. Uh huh. Meat. <laughs> <laughs> and we do a, a gyro sandwich. We do it on a plate. We do it on a salad. What um, are some Greek seasonings or Mediterranean oh sauce gosh, seasonings uh, that work oregano. really well? Number one, oregano. Oregano. Olive Got oil, it. oregano, basil, of course, lemon pepper. Um, these are your typical seasonings. Okay, so I know. That this is so cool. Okay, I'm kind of getting the You got enough of it. there. You're good. I did. So, so we're going to, you can set that down, the knife, mm -hmm. and take that over to the broiler, or the Set's flat the top. down, flat top. And you're just going to throw that on the grill. And... This you know, is awesome. You're going to put it nice and neat. Because we're going mm -hmm. to Tom. brown it a little bit. I know, I love how you said, oh, she's yeah. a little nice and neat. I could have just tossed it on, but it so, feels wrong when I just toss yeah. it on there. Okay. So we, the, the broiler cooks the outside, so we finish it on the flat top. So uh -huh. turn those pieces over on this side. Okay. That one and that one. And I have to get these ones a little quicker because this you're, one's a little thinner. And you're good. No, you're good. Some people like it toasty like bacon, other I people do. don't. Yeah, it's can we leave it on for like a couple minutes? You can crunch it a little more. Okay. I see that one's really beautiful. Tasty. This one's ready to go. Put them in here. All oh, right. I love this. Okay, so this I need to fun. know what inspired your restaurant. I love the painting we saw off the top right. of the show, right. but it was so beautiful. I think Santorini, right? It's, or in the area? I gave the artist a few pictures and they just made it happen. Uh, and so it's a, it's a smattering of islands in Greece. Um, but I'm Greek. I'm 100% Greek. Uh -huh. My grandfather came here in 1912 and opened a restaurant downtown. You told me your name was Nick Anthony, but I need you to tell me what your actual last name is. Andonopoulos. That's beautiful. So he says, I'm going to keep it easy for you, child. We're going to call me Nick <laughs> Anthony for today. So we're coming over here. Now you're going to get to build the pita sandwich. Yes. And this is the important part, because if you don't build it right, it doesn't wrap right. Right. And if it doesn't wrap right, it doesn't bite right. Okay, it looks so simple, it's but there's an simple. art to it, and really? we were actually trying this out earlier, okay. you said, no, 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 there's a technique, because the way that you build it, yep. you get specific bites and flavors, exactly. and you, you can you build can. it wrong. You can, and then it falls yeah. apart. So, if you want to grab your tongue, you can use your fingers since you have gloves oh, on, like and that. just lay the strips down in here. So I'm laying the strips, and should I kind of layer them on top of each other? Go or no? on one more on this side. You're good. More Keep on going. This side? Yeah, just and probably oh, okay. that's probably one more strip, and that's enough. I like this little crispy one. So normally, we put four ounces of meat in here after it's cooked. Uh huh. So now I want you to take three tomatoes. Okay. And line them this way. Exactly Perfect. three. Perfect. Perfect. Right exactly dead three. Right in the center. Gotta be three. Yeah. Of the meat. Okay. Here we go. Take a little bit of these onions over here and uh -huh. lay the onions on top of the tomatoes. Okay. Ooh. And here comes the fun part. Mm -hmm. Grab that tzatziki bowl and let's be a little easier if you put it right here. Uh -huh. And then you just dollop very carefully, put two or three dollops and 
We make our tzatziki with sour cream. Mm -hmm. Traditional tzatziki is made with yogurt. Yeah, I was going to say, it's with yogurt, huh? If, if we made it with yogurt, it would drip out and it would, wouldn't be in the sandwich. Oh, wow. So, so this we, keeps the consistency. Correct, correct. Mm. So now the wrap. This is in most I'm oil. nervous, Nick. You have to put a third <laughs> of the sandwich above that line. So right okay. there. And Just then a third you of start it. with this side. Mm -hmm. Grab the pita. Grab the pita. Roll the whole thing. This one. Oh, oh, oh. Uh -oh. Almost. Let's uh -oh, go back uh -oh. this way. Let's okay. go back Let's this way. Let's do this side. Okay. Go that way and fold. Fold. Got it. Mm -hmm. Tight now on this one. Tighten that in. Tighten it Tighten in. Tighten it in. And then come back with this one. There oh, you go. Wow. Like a papusa. I get it now. Oh, Hold it under. Man. You and guys. It goes right there with. I got a little bit messy, but I'm really. Really proud of how my little Euro turned out. Do not go anywhere. We have so much more great day to say back for you after a quick commercial break.